Hey, good morning everybody. Um, this is Stephen. Um, back at it with another video. Um, just uh, a little bit more in depth and detail as far as the LTL business. Um, I currently work for Old Dominion Freight Lines in Miami, Florida. Um, and I just transferred out here in May of this year. Um, it's now September 21st, uh, Tuesday, uh, 2022. Um, and just uh, maybe if you want to you know get into LTL um, you know what to expect and uh, you know how to go about uh, doing that uh, I just recently got my braces off so I'm super excited um, I got into uh, LTL I started working for Estes after my first year of trucking um, wasn't the greatest place to be so that's why I made the switch after six months of working for Estes um, made the switch over here to ODFL uh, definitely been one of the greatest decisions that I've made in life as far as career because just driving in general but ODFL is super professional um, they're they're they've been the top carrier for like their LTL carrier uh, for like 10 years in a row I believe super awesome dock dock workers just the way that the uh the company is ran it's straight across the board you know you know what to expect you show up and uh, you know you turn the key um, you know there's no leasing every it's a private fleet so there's not a lot of uh, you know things that you as a driver need to worry about you know with breakdowns and stuff like that you get paid per hour and it's a pretty nice uh, per hourly rate I'm not gonna you know hold anything out we just got a raise it's 3140 to start out as an experience um, driver you do need your endorsements you do need the doubles the triples hazmat um, you know you of course you don't need anything else uh, you know uh, hazmat doesn't transfer state to state so you have to have it in the state that you're working in um, the, the best thing that I, I enjoy, uh, I would say, is going from one place to the next, dropping off one to two pallets. You know, maybe you might do a, a drop and hook. Maybe you might do a lava unload. Every day is different depending on if you run a route. A lot of the older guys, they enjoy running the route because uh, they know what to expect and they build that rapport with their customers. So, you know, it, it's, uh, it's challenging as far as physical labor. Uh, but it's not you're not killing yourself you know you're not out here you know breaking your back you know you're, you're moving freight with a pallet jack sometimes you have electric pallet jack if it's really heavy um, you know and, and and I really enjoy it uh, over the road just wasn't for me um, sometimes I miss it and some kind of kind of envy because they just sit and drive you know stare out the window and they don't have to do any unloading or offloading or i'm sorry offloading and loading but uh overall um i think uh you know if you have some type of warehouse experience or maybe you know you were in construction you know you got your cdl and you're over the road and you've got kids and you've got a family and you want to be there to support them i think it's a great great position you know you you have, depending on, you know, your terminal, you've got nice hours. I mean, we come in early, we leave at five or six due to um, the uh, freight that's going overseas. So we have a lot of uh, early morning appointment appointments and they close at 5 p.m. So a lot of days I'm off at five or six, you know, I, I that's uh, that's unheard of, you know, that and LTL because it's all seniority based. So after you've been there for years, you know, you know you move up and so of course you come in early and you leave at five six seven um but uh you know just starting out day one you know i was coming in at 10 6 30 uh average is about 8 a.m i guess you would say so 6 30 to 7 30 sometimes 6 a.m you come in you know and by two or three o'clock you've already got eight hours you know and you know and then you've got pickups and stuff like that so uh, don't want to make this too long because uh, I know I have a short attention span. I'm kind of a, a TikTok short video. I just like to get the the meat and 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 I don't like all the extra. So I just wanted to uh, shoot this out and just a little bit more depth. I know my last video 
Um, I kind of explained exactly what I what I was doing and the change. Now I feel a little bit more comfortable um, in what I'm doing to you know tell you guys uh, you know about what I'm doing um, and uh, just want to uh, you know help you know people that are in my situation. You know when I was over the road and uh, I was looking for something in town and and you know at a high pay rate and you know you you're you know you're really you're really uh, taken care of you know so it's 401k company mad six percent free insurance free health insurance the family is ten to twenty dollars a month um, you know I believe don't quote me on this but it's two weeks paid vacation if not a week but I'm pretty sure it was two. Um, and you know, you can use those for sick days or whatever. So that way your, your weekly check isn't affected. Um, if you were to get sick or something like that. So you have the sick time. Um, it's just gain per hour you work, you get a percentage of an hour for every hour you work or something like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, uh, this is Steven and, uh, go ahead and like the video. Uh, definitely comment down below if you have any questions and I'll definitely, uh, answer them and, you know, uh, I hope this, uh, you know, helps somebody that's in the position if they're on the fence about whether or not they, uh, you know, want to get into LTL, which is less than a truckload. So like I said, you know, you're pulling off one to two pallets. You're not, you're not just staring out the window, sleeping in the truck. You know, you got a day cab and you're off and you get a shower, you know, you live a normal life, go to barbecues on the weekends or whatever. Um, you know, it's, it, it's, it's a good thing. And, um, I personally believe it's the best company um, in, in LTO. You know, it's top tier freight. Uh, top tier freight means uh, we we get the best picks. We get the, the pallets intact. From what I know, you know, I'm still a rookie, right? So, you know, top tier freight is awesome. Nothing's falling apart. Nothing's loose. You know, when I was at Estes, you know, I was getting all kinds of crazy freight. It was falling apart. You know, it was just... You know, um, so everything's always intact. You know, sometimes you might have a little bit of damages. You know, you got to get a number, you know, exception number from uh, from uh, OS and D to you know, to the customer. You know, uh, you know, in case you know we damage, which doesn't happen a lot. Really, really doesn't. I've I've only had one or two damages of freight. So, like I said, man, from the dock workers to the office staff to to everybody i mean i'm kind of you know uh raving but you know it, it it is what it is and you know if if uh you want to make that switch to uh, ltl definitely choose uh old dominion freight lines um yeah and uh, you know if you want to use my link go ahead um driver id number is 111308 uh steven spears like on the youtube channel and uh you know i'll get a referral so definitely you know, not looking for that. I really just want to help people um, that are, you know, in my position. So that's all. It's been about eight minutes. So I figured I'd make it uh, kind of short. But uh, thanks. Ciao. And uh, stay easy.